What is up YouTube? It's Michael and I'm back for another video. As you can see by the title below, it is going to be about my coming out story. Yes, I know. Who is texting my phone? Yes, your boy came out, you know what I'm saying? Not really, I was low-key exposed. It's you know, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get into that, okay? Let's let's get into the video, all right? Before we get into this video, yes, I'm standing, you know, my cousin's about to take me to a free lunch, who was about to turn down a free meal, not me, if you do, sucks for you. But as you can see by the title below, this is gonna be my coming out story. So I'm gonna take y'all back a lot of years, I don't feel like counting it, but um, I was in about 10th or 11th grade at this point. Um, and it was around like March or April, it was like, not too hot, but not too cold. So I believe it was around like March or maybe April. Um, and yeah, you know, your boy was like, not experimenting at this time, but I was just trying to, you know, talk to boys and stuff like that and see what's out there and stuff. So, all right, so like I was saying, before my phone just shut off for whatever reason and stopped recording, um, I had a Twitter at this time and I don't have Twitter anymore, sorry, but I had, Twitter at this time, and it was this thing going around called, let me turn this off, called the uh, HDM or whatever, I think it was like hidden direct message or stuff like that, and I forget, we're going to call this boy S, hey S, how you doing, um, I don't remember if S did it or I did it, but um, long story short, one of us was in the other's DMs, you know, we slid up in there like it was nothing, we get the chit chatting and stuff like that and conversating and stuff, conversating. Is that a word? Anyway, um, we start like chit chat and you know having a pleasant conversation, you know, as young people do. Um, and one thing leads to another, and you know, it, it started to get you know a little serious, you know, to the point where it was like, hey, like you know, let's let's meet up, let's you know, let's let's see, you know, let's 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 just hang. So DMs ended up to texting, texting ended up to like phone calls, FaceTimes, and then guys. One day, I don't remember if I told him to come over or he insisted, but we just said we were gonna hang out and I guess I told him to come to my house because he ended up here. He ended up coming over here, it was a school night. So um, at this particular time, my mom worked two jobs. She worked a seven to three and then right after that, she went to a four to like nine job. Um, but, but when she first started her second job, she wouldn't get home until 10. So, you know, at this point I was like, when the guy was about to come over, I was clocking her time, like to see which what time she was coming in and out. So I knew I had okay from this time to this time, house free. My brother was outside anyway until she got home, so I didn't have to worry about him. I just had to worry about her. So every night I was like clocking it, you know, to see what time she would come in the house, um, see how long it would take her to get from her job to the house. Mind you, her second job was not even ten minutes away from my home, so. Yeah, I invited him over this one particular night after, you know, studying my mom's work routine. Um, he came over. I remember like it was yesterday. I remember this like it was yesterday. So I'm like, okay, I get out of school. I get home around four o'clock. I'm gonna tell him to come at five. So that way I can shower, you know, get the school day off of me. You know how you feel when you get out of school and stuff like that. So I just came home, hurried up, came home, straight home actually, um, and took a shower. Rebrushed my teeth, did my hair, whatever. I think I had hair at that time, I'm pretty sure. But um, yeah, and I did all that. And then five came literally like that. And he was over here. Now when he was over here, it was nothing crazy. We weren't doing anything. It was literally, we were just chilling. You know, it was nothing going on. We weren't doing anything. We kissed and he may have sucked on my neck, but you know. Mm. Okay, so that was it. Um, that's all we really did. Now this is when the story gets crazy, okay? Now it's getting to about 9.30ish. Now mind you, at this particular time, I was thinking my mom was coming home at 10 o'clock. That's every other day when I was studying her, her um, work routine, she was coming home at 10 o'clock p.m. Okay, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna, we gonna, you know, get ready for him to leave at 9.30. He'll be out by 9.40, get on that bus by 10 o'clock. He's out of here, you know? No, not this night, no. I don't know if it was my time. I don't know if, you know, I don't know. But around like 9.30-ish, 9.40-ish, I hear the front door open. So in my head, I'm like, what the, like, who is that? So I hear Mike. So now I'm 
I'm literally shook. I'm shook to the core. I'm like, oh shit. Like my mom is here. I'm DL basically. And I, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't, I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm literally frozen. Like, I don't know whether to tell this boy to get in the closet, get under my bed. And it was no way he was going to fit under the bed. My bed is too close to the floor. But I'm literally shook. I have no idea what to tell this boy. I don't know what to do. I don't, I don't know. So um, she's like, Michael. That's when I knew something was about to happen. My mom never calls me Michael unless I'm in trouble. The first thing she says is, who's in the house? So I'm like, nobody. Like, what are you, what are you talking about? Mind you, I'm at the top of my steps. She's at the front door. So I'm like, you know, nobody's here. Like, it's just me. What's wrong? So she says, whose shoes are these? <laughs> At this particular time in my life when I was in like high school, I didn't have a job until senior year and I only had that job for like a month. But um, yeah, so with that being said, other people brought things for me. My mom, she brought everything for my brother and I. So she knew what shoes we had, what shoes we didn't have. Um, and she just knew that we didn't have those shoes. So yeah, so she's like, whose shoes are these? I'm like, what shoes? And I'm like, dude, did you leave your shoes like downstairs? But then again, I probably told him to leave his shoes downstairs because at this time, nobody came in the house without taking up their shoes and we left them on like the little runway thing that we got, the little rug for shoes and stuff. So I probably did tell him to leave his shoes down there because I didn't think my mom was gonna be home at no 940. But she's like, you know, why is your keys in the door? I left my keys in the door. In the door, I left my keys, my house keys. I guess me being so excited and so happy that I'm finally getting to see this person that I've been texting and FaceTiming and talking on the phone with for hours that I forgot to take my keys out of the door. So at this point, my mom knows someone's in the house and she was probably a little shook, um, mainly because I left my keys in the door. The minute I came back out into the hallway, she was at the top of the steps. So I'm like, well, damn, did you run up the steps? She was out, like, you know, like it, it was an Olympics thing. She's upstairs at this point. Now I'm really, really, really shook, you know, cause I'm like, no one's have ever, no one has ever at this point stepped foot in the house, you know, that was, you know, outside like my family and my friends that my mom knew. So I'm very, very nervous. So of course she's like, you know, who's this? I'm like, mom, this is my friend. S, you know, S is my mom, her name. She's like, okay, Mike, now your friend has to go. <laughs> my mom was not here for it at all. S starts to just put his clothes on and stuff like that. Well, he already had his clothes on. He put his clothes on when she came to the door. All he had was his shirt off. He ends up going downstairs, leaving out the door. Um, so I was about to follow him. I wasn't about to stay in here, you know, and get chastised all day all night. So I was about to be out the door with him. I was probably going to be on the bus along with him on my way to North Philly. So, <laughs> um, but it, the, immediately, as soon as I was about to go downstairs, she's like, Mike, you know, come here, sit down. Um, in the hallway, it's this little um, bench. Not well, it's this little thing that we put towels and stuff on, but you can sit on the top of it. So I sat on that at this time and, you know, she's asking me a whole bunch of questions. Mind you, at this, at this particular time, I did have friends that came over my house. Most of them were girls. Um, and none of them ever entered my room. So she was like, you know, who was he? I'm like, you know, that's just my friend. And the next thing I know, she's like, you know, well, what's so special about him? You know, other friends that come over aren't allowed in your room, which is true. At this time, I was really, really weird. I didn't want nobody to come in my room unless they had to, like my mom or my brother or my family. I don't know if you were like that. Hey, um, now I don't care if my friends come over, we're all in my room, but. At this time, I didn't want no one else in my room. So, yeah, she was just like, you know, who is he? Why is he so special? Blah, 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 blah. So, you know, I'm just like, you know, that's just my friend. You know, we were chilling, da, 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 da. blase, blase. So, um, and then I'm like, you know, I got I to gotta make sure that, you know, he knows his way back. Because mind you, the guy is not from around here. He was going off his phone, but I just felt bad because I'm like, what if something happens to this boy? And he's here trying to see me and next thing I know he's on the news or something like that because he got lost or kidnapped or something. So I was like, mom, I just got to go. I got to make sure at least that he gets on the bus. So she eventually just lets me go. Let me do whatever. Um, so I dart out the room. I'm calling him. He's not answering. I'm calling him again. He's not answering. He probably was just upset, which I get. I would low-key be upset too if he's literally or just feel a little awkward because we literally just got caught. 
we weren't doing anything, but you know, I was DL. I think he was too at this particular time, so it was just weird. Eventually got a hold of him. He was at the bus stop right around the corner from my house. So I ran around there. I stood with him until the bus came, seen him get on the bus, and he was gone. After that, I called my cousin, Ariel. I called Ariel. She had just recently came out to her mother. Um, I'm not gonna put her whole business out there. That's meh. but um yeah, she had just basically did what she had to do. Um, she did it the proper way, unlike me. Um, you know, and I'm, I just called her up. I'm like, listen, like, my mom just caught me in the room with, with a guy and stuff like that. She's pissed. I don't know what to do. Like, I, I don't know how to go about this. I don't know. What, what do I say? What do I do? And she's like, you know, relax, chill out. It's not that big a deal. Your mom's not the type of person that would kick you out over something like this or really be mean about it or nasty towards you about something like this. So she's basically helping me. Then again, I'm like, baby, I am fucked. So I'm like, okay, fine. I'm gonna go back in the house, talk to her, see what she got to say. And I'm, this is going to be the end of the night. Click. So I go back in the house or whatever, and she calls me again. At this point, she's separating the clothes to wash them. So I'm like, now she has a clear mind. You know, she can talk to me like an adult. You know, she won't yell at me. Thank the Lord. You know, she's relaxed. So I go back in. I go upstairs. She wants to talk to me. I'm back at this bench. She tells me to sit down once again on this bench. And we have this little light right next to the bench. And it turns on the hallway light. The moment she flicks that light up, all you see is passion marks all down my neck at this point my mom was over it at this point okay she was over it i didn't even know they were there um i knew he was like kissing on my neck and sucking on it but i did not think i was going to bruise it like they were big i remember it was one like it was one right here one all the way at the bottom and then it was like one huge one like that and it was like purple and it was huge so and i didn't know i didn't look in the mirror i didn't do anything and she probably didn't see him when everything was happening because none of the lights were really on besides my lamp that was in my room and the bathroom light so it wasn't really no light shining on my neck until we turned the hallway light on because it's really really bright so we turned that on she's like mike what are those on your neck i'm like Shit. They're, you know, bug bites. Like, I didn't know what to say, what to do. That was the first thing that came to my head. I'm like, they're probably, you know, some mosquito bit me. You know, at this point, it's getting warm. I'm, listen, I didn't know what to do, okay? I couldn't, listen. Something probably bit me. And she's like, something bit you that many times that now it's like, it's purple and it's big like that. I'm like, maybe, like, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. So she's like, you let him kiss on your neck. And I'm like, shit, well, yes, I did. Like, I didn't know what to say at this time, at this point anymore. Like, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to go about it. So I'm just like, yeah, you know, we did. And she's like, well, did you do anything else besides that? So I'm like, what are you talking about? Then she nods her head and I'm like, oh, hell no. Literally, that was the only thing that we did was like kiss. He kissed on my neck, gave me passion marks. Um, so at this point she's crying and at this point, there was no more, he's my friend, there was no more, nothing happened. I didn't mean to say it like this, but literally, I sat there and was just like, I'm gay. Like, I'm gay, you know? And I didn't know, I didn't know what else to say. I really didn't know how to say it, because at this point, it's just like, there's nothing else to say. She's already thinking it, you know? Might as well confirm it. We might as well you know, put it out there and realize that I am gay. Once I said it, yes, she started crying and he, oh shit, don't cry. She started crying and stuff like that and that hurt me just to see me in a way, almost like, I don't know, it just felt like I destroyed my mom in a way, you know? Cause I don't know, now, uh, mm, basically after that, the night is over. Me and my mom did not discuss it after that. I literally woke up and she took us, me and my brother to school and it was that, you know, it was it was over, everything was done. Um, and we just n did not discuss it until like, well, we never discussed that particular incident, but from that point on, she knew I was gay. That was a long story time, but it was fun doing it. And it was very, very different, interesting. I'm not gonna lie, it was, I'm I'm afraid. I was afraid to tell the story time, but then again, I'm I'm not. I just hope that it helps someone out there, you know. 
And to everyone who's struggling with their sexuality, um, just know that it does get better. I know everyone says that, but it it really does. Like once, I feel like once I told my dad and my mom found out, I low-key wish that I would have, I don't even low-key, I high-key wish that I was able to tell my mom the same way I told my dad. Because um, I feel like he dealt with deals with it even now a lot better because he didn't catch me, you know what I mean? Like he didn't see me like that, you know, when my mom literally caught me with the whole boy, but um, like I was saying before, I just hope it helps people who are dealing with their sexuality, you know, to just come out, be mindful, you know, don't be like me, you know, don't get caught, it's definitely not a good feeling, um, but yeah, I just hope it helps, you know, and if it does, good, um, but you're gonna feel 10 times as better when you come out and you're free to literally be, like nothing's changed about me, but I do see people who, well, I did change. I'm more comfortable with myself. You know, I didn't have to pretend or I didn't have to deny this and deny that and act like this or act, make my voice deeper, you know what I mean? Or move less, you know. Um, I'm able to just be myself and be who I really am and you know, some people aren't, even to this day. They're probably, some people older than me, you know, I'm 21, and some people older than me are still not able to live them their true selves, you know, because of fear or whatever they got going on. But just take your time, you know, don't get caught. And yeah, there's nothing else more to really say about it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it, comment, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I'll see all of you in my next video. Bye.